Hey guys, what's up? Jonathan here with AppCalendar.com. Today's March 4th, 2010, and today's iPhone application that I have for review is called Blackjack Teacher Pro. So let's get started with this review. What Blackjack Teacher Pro is going to do is going to teach you how to get better at Blackjack, plain and simple, through various challenges, exams, quizzes, and a bunch of other fun different tasks to do. So when you open the application, you have practice mode and test mode. Practice mode is going to get a bunch of different challenges to get better at Blackjack, and then you can go into test mode and take a couple different tests and exams and, and actually look at how you did and look at previous results. If you tap card, it's going to show you the strategy card, basic strategy card of Blackjack. It's going to show you all the hands that you can get dealt against all the cards that the dealer can show. And it's going to help you decide if you want to hit stand, double split, or surrender. If we go back to train, we can look at the configuration menu. It's going to allow us to change different things, tweak different settings as far as, count, as far as card, view the large card, action, true count type, target training. And if we click about, we can look at different about information about this particular developer, including about blackjack, card counting, casino variations, a bunch more. So we'll go back to the train menu and check out some of the practice mode. And the first one that we're going to check out is called bet card. And what we're going to do in bet card is you're basically going to have some choices whether you're going to hit stand, double split, or surrender. And in this particular challenge, we're just deciding what we want to do. So as you, as you can see, I have a, two threes, so it's six. We're actually going to split these. That's the correct play strategically, mathematically, in the game of blackjack. It's going to tell you whether you got the answer correct by telling you good job or whether you missed the answer. It's going to tell you you got the answer wrong. So here are some of the things on the left hand side. We're shown seven hands. We got seven right, 100%. And it's actually going to tell you the streak. So very helpful information. On the right here we have the deck, how many cards are left, as well as the count and the true count. So let's head back to the main menu. But first let's check out some results in least known order. It's going to show us some results here of the previous hands that we were dealt. So the next challenge is called basic count. In basic count you're learning how to count cards. So here we have a 2, which is equal to plus 1, 2 through 6 are plus 1, 10 through ace are minus 1, and a 7 through 9 are neutral. So we have two big cards, so minus 2, plus a little card, minus 1. The count is minus 1, and we're correct. So in this challenge, you're just learning how to count cards. So you're taking basic strategy in the first challenge, then you're going into some counting cards, and then in the next challenge, we're going to take all those, those previous two challenges and go into count actions, and do a real-time situation against the dealer with only one card showing. So here we have 17 against the dealer 6. Basic strategy says we should stand, and we're correct. Then we have an 8 against the dealer 3. We're going to double that. That is not correct. The real action should have been a hit. So it's going to update us with feedback. On the right-hand side, we see it says how many cards we got left, the count, and the true count. On the left, what we've been showed, the good and the bad, and what percentage good that we've, what, that we've achieved as well as a streak. So the count is now updated to plus four. Plus counts are what you want. So we have a nine against a dealer five. We're going to double this one. And that's correct. So it's going to teach us how to count cards. Or it's going to teach us how to use our previously two learned challenges into a real-time casino environment. And how to count cards and how to play using the true count and the count. Very cool part of the application. So let's head back to the main menu here. But first, we're going to check out some of our previous results. The next challenge is called All No Count Info. So we don't have any information about what the count is. We're playing strictly what we've learned so far in the previous challenges. So we have 20 against a dealer 5. We're going to stand. Blackjack against anything you're obviously not going to be hitting anytime soon. 5 against an 8. We're going to hit that. 14 against a dealer 3, you're going to stand. And it's updating us on how our progress is and actually what answers we've gotten right. Very cool part of the application as well. The next part of the application is called test mode. You're going to take a test. It's 200 questions long. And it's basically going to evaluate how good of a blackjack player you really are. So we'll go ahead and tap exam and get right into this examination. So here we don't have any information, they just tell us how many cards are left in the deck for us to establish our count on our own. So we're doubling an 11. Here we have 20 against an ace, 
we're not going to be hitting that. We're just going to be standing. And it's going to update us after every question whether or not we got the question correct. So we'll go back here and it's going to tell us the test mode, current score, how many questions we're asked, and what percentage we got. You could actually look at previous results. It's going to show you all the previous test results that you've taken. But anyway, guys, this has been Blackjack Teacher Pro. Check out yesterday's review of NumFight from the same developer. This has been Jonathan with AppCalendar.com, and I hope you guys have a great day.